friends. Welcome to another episode of Vlogmas. If you're new around these parts, I am Tashira of Politics and Fashion. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and become part of the tribe. I do vlogs, I do style, I do self-care videos, and I think you will love it around these parts. So today I am going to share with you all a few things, including a trip to New York that is coming up. But you would have seen me do my body care routine. I actually want to show you some of the products that I use to just kind of get the skin glowing, glistening, to really maintain what I feel like is a great self-care practice. I shared with you all in a body care routine video before everything I use from soup to nuts. So I'll make sure that's a link down below. But I want to share with you all the stars of this show that just make me feel luxurious like I'm luxuriating in my house like I'm at a spa okay <laughs> but before we get there I am of course wearing this amazing dress for a special event that's coming up I am going to New York with the BFF Margot who you all know from the podcast Justice uh, we're going to see who I like to call my personal self-help life coach guru Gabby Bernstein Margot is very concerned that I see Gabby Bernstein in this way. I'll get her to tell you why. Uh, nevertheless, I love her. I've read three of her books, you know, done her meditation challenges. I find her to be the GOAT, very relatable, and just gets you grounded in manifestation and all these great woo-woo things that I love. And so we wanted to also treat ourselves to a very nice dinner in New York tonight. And I made a Rent the Runway order in order to get a dress that feels a bit elevated and maybe pushes me out of my comfort zone a bit. And that's exactly what this does. I don't have anything that has a halter, definitely don't have any navy blue. And so I feel like when I slipped this on, it felt like me. But because it's silk, I also had to, of course, worry about my undergarments, which is a question I know you all ask me quite often. And here is where my partnership with a brand called Understance is the perfect fit. This part of the video is sponsored by my kind friends at Understance. They are up in Canada, an amazing woman-owned business. I have worked with them here on YouTube, on social media, as well as the podcast. So trust me that we are true to this, not new to this. I am a true fan indeed. I find all of their pieces to be so incredibly comfortable and to be very flattering. And what's most important to me is that they probably themselves on diversity of all types so when you go to their website you see different shapes you see different races it's just for me a home of inclusivity and that's so important when you're picking out intimates because of course not all bodies are the same since I'm wearing this silk dress, what was really important to me is that I obviously have no visible panty line. And it's also cold in New York, of course. And so I opted for their bike shorts. These are their, their contour bike shorts that are similar to shapewear, but for me better because you can do something that's very important called breathing. Yep, you, you, can, you can definitely breathe. It doesn't feel like an old school girdle. <laughs> It's not incredibly hard to get them on or off, but they have the same effect, which for me is just smoothing everything out. Now, I feel like a lot of the conversation around shapewear, and I have to say this, tends to be about making you look skinny, and I don't believe in that whatsoever. I know that it's not Understance's philosophy. Again, we celebrate all body types over here. However, the great part about shapewear, and specifically their body contour line, is that it helps to smooth everything out. And that can be a benefit whether you are a size 2 or or size 22 and again this is not typical shapewear they truly feel like panties they feel like traditional undergarments just with a little extra something to hold you in with that said, the bike shorts come in two lengths. I have them in the shorter version and the longer version. And I wear them on days even when I'm not wearing something that is very figure fitting. And I also grab from Understance a new bra. I have this bra now in two colors and the fit on it is absolutely delicious. Let me show you what it looks like under this silk dress. You are going to be shook nasty. As you can see, it's super fitted in the hips and the butt. Here's what it looks like in the back. And as I mentioned, no panty line whatsoever. And here is it from the front. 
I absolutely love, love this color. So I'll make sure that both items are linked down below from Understands. Use code Tashara15 to save 15% off. That is a great deal, y'all, because I find for everything on the website to already be super affordable and that extra 15% off is clutch. Now, since we're talking a lot about body shape, body type, let me get out of this dress because I don't trust myself. And I am going to talk to you about my favorite body care products. So let's jump into this body care routine, shall we? It is something that I'm super dedicated to at least once a week, usually more times a week, but I do the full routine from start to finish at least once a week, okay? So I start, of course, with a great face mask, which you all would have seen. I've talked about this one before. It is the Clarins V Facial Intensive Wrap Mask. It really helps with puffiness under the eye area it helps with fine lines i love the texture personally because it actually feels almost like it's whipped this was sent to me as a pr gift from clarence i definitely will be repurchasing this my body washes go between these two i love the necessaire body wash in sandalwood i talked to you all about how this body wash got me off that joe malone body wash which I still love, but it is double the price. This one is 25 bucks, and I always, always get multiple of them from the Sephora VIB sale. And then we have the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Wash Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash. Y'all, I thought that this was just a face wash. And then I read it and realized that it was for the entire body and face without stripping up to 24 hours hydration starting in the shower. This time of year, as you can see, this is almost gone compared to this one. This time of year, this is clutch. It is really what I love to wash my face with, one of my two face washes. Because it is so gentle, it doesn't strip your skin, and it's great for your entire body. A little bit of this goes such a long way. I mean, half a pump washes my face, two pumps will wash my entire body. And so, I cannot... Uh, sing La Roche-Posay's praises high enough because I do have another body care product that I'll show you in just a minute. The exfoliator that I have been loving is the one by Aesop. This is the Geranium Leaf Body Scrub. It comes in a couple different um, fragrances. The good part about this one too is that it does have a slight lather to it. And so you could technically exfoliate and wash your body with this. You don't have to also use an additional body wash or soap. Uh, but the beads are very fine. You don't have to worry about being it being too aggressive on your skin. And I tend to concentrate this well I use it all over my body but of course on like my elbows and my knees and my heels and then when I get out of the shower I have a few products that I use the first one is this uh, Banish PFB triple action skin lightening and post hair removal serum I got a um Brazilian a modified Brazilian wax before <clears throat> I'm sorry after Thanksgiving so that's about two and a half, three weeks now. And so it's important for me when I get a wax to make sure that two, three days later at the most that I start to use this product so that I don't have an issue with ingrowns or inflammation. It simply goes on with a roller ball. You use it after the shower. It's a serum. It stays on your skin and it works perfectly to exfoliate but to also soothe any areas that may be a little inflamed. For moisturization, we got the Bad B Collabo right here. This is my third time purchasing this One Love Organics Gardenia Tea Antioxidant Body Serum. It goes on like a spray oil, but it's light. It's not too heavy. It doesn't leave your skin like feeling slippery or slick. It doesn't just sit on your skin. It actually fully absorbs in your skin, which is great. Um, and I absolutely love 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 the fragrance of this it's not too overwhelming but that gardenia and tea definitely does come through it's all natural as well and because it is winter i followed that up with the lipicar balm intensive repair moisturizing cream also by la roche Prose. i find that it really locks in the body serum well and so these two once again go together like peanut butter and jelly 
there are plenty of other products that I use as well, but I would say if I had to think about what I would repurchase again tomorrow, it would probably be all of these. As I mentioned, I have already purchased this three times. This is my third bottle of this. It lasts for me about maybe a month and a half. Um, so that is the tea on what's happening on the body care okay let me know if you also want me to talk about my skincare routine happy to do that in greater detail i am going to finish packing prepare to get out of here and before i leave i'll show you the ootd headed to new york the ootd starts with this lack of color hat i really want to get this hat in black i absolutely love it it's a wool fedora as you can see it's an off-white and i got it from anthropology i've seen it in black on revolve so i'll link both colors down below I'm wearing my Norma Kamali coat you all always ask about this the herringbone one I think is sold out you may be able to find it on a resale site but I know it does come in all black it's called the sleeping bag coat and it comes in two lengths I'm wearing this top from Lulu's which you all will see in closer detail in a Lulu's haul coming up very soon because I'm headed to New York I also have on a long cashmere cardigan this one is from Jawa I got this last year in the Black Friday sales uh, back to my old trusty the denim R by um, Margella the MM6 jeans of course have those tucked into my new cowboy boots I got these from a store called uh, I think Teovas or something like that. I'll link it down below. They are authentic cowboy boots. And so it's a store that sells all Western goods. And they are 100% leather. After the ones that I got from Zara and I fell in love with them, I knew I had to have the real thing. And that's a pro tip, y'all. Like if you're not sure if you actually want to jump into something or not, get a more affordable version. The Zara ones I think were like $100 or a little bit less. And the leather ones that I just got that I cannot wait to break in were $300. It's just a great pair of all leather boots that I'm I'm sure I will have forever. I am going to put on a pair of sunnies, tie my coat, throw my Dior scarf on top, a pair of gloves because again the hawk is outside in New York but just to open the coat up a bit this is today's OOTD and I'll keep this on until we go to the um, event tonight with Gabby Bernstein. I will see y'all in New York. Just made it to New York and look who I It's the wiggle wiggle for me. Made it to New York. We are staying at West House. Midtown East is the area. Uh, we're going to go see my guru, my <laughs> life coach, the one that is the wind beneath my wings very soon at 7.30 p.m. Um, I had a bit of a snafu on the train. The engine stopped working. Uh, and so I'm about an hour behind schedule, but we're gonna get out yeah. and about before we see Gabby. Um, I will show you just coming in the front door of the hotel. The space is beautiful. Marco, good job. Nice. I'll show you the bathroom too. Coming into the front, you got the mirror here. It's a little dark, of course. Um, this must be what closet, Margo? Yep, closet is here. This is actually really big for a New York hotel. Is it? It's small though for a United States hotel. That's true, but big for a New York hotel for sure. Two beds. I think those are probably double size, and this is the bathroom. I just would like to confirm that I got two queen beds. Even though the one king was cheaper. Margo keeps trying to get me to sleep in the bed with her. I'm like, girl, I need space. <laughs> Let's see the view. We're talking about the next time we come, what we're going to the do. The Michael Jackson show. Michael Jackson, Wicked, Moulin Hamilton? Rouge. Oh, obviously. The color purple. Oh, I would love to see that. Um, I think the, is it called the piano? The August Wilson play is is also showing right now. It's a lot of great stuff. Um, but uh, also, we are going to unpack a little bit. Margo and I both did really good rent the runway order, so we got to decide what we're going to wear. We're going to shoot tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I really like Margo's hat. Let me show you. Hold on. It's very it's cute, friend. It, it makes, it, it's, it's very New York. Wait, can I see the, is it soft, like the top of it? Yeah, it's Oh, I actually need one of those. Um, I need something to cover my ears, y'all, because... Don't I look like, um, 
a Russian oligarch's yeah, wife, like I think a, is how like you describe it. a wealthy business lady? You look like you uh, embezzle funds and you put them in offshore accounts in the Cayman Islands. I do. There's that. All right, we're getting out of here. Come along. She's been looking for this and it's at the real real at a great price. How's the condition, Em? It's good? Oh my god, this looks new. It would be Chanel. <laughs> Trying on diamond studs. so over me already girl I'm so excited I'm going to jump on the stage everyone looks like Gabby Brown or I was like you're gonna be the only black person there I was like perfect that means Gabby can spot me in the crowd good morning the gang's all here I will fill you in about Gabby last night it was so good it touched me in all the ways. I think Margo too, even if she hates to admit it. But this morning we're up, we are dressed, we are at the hotel. We're getting ready to shoot with Yasmin. Yasmin, you wanna say hi? Hi everyone. Photographer extraordinaire, I will link her information down below. If you are in New York, you gotta shoot with her. And, and let me show you Margo's incredibly short. It's so short. I mean, it's, she's wearing the tiniest dress ever. She's not. It's pretty <laughs> it is not short. She thinks because she's showing knees, it's too short. We're trying to find the best place to shoot and to be a little surreptitious because I don't know if we're supposed to be shooting in the hotel, um, but let's see what we get up to. Let's talk about my first look. The blazer is Saint Laurent. The top is from Aritzia. Don't have any covers for the nipples, so we don't free the nipple, okay? Uh, the skirt is from Express, and then on my feet, I am wearing the Versace pumps. That is the first look, and and Margo also has on a bit of sparkle too because we like to coordinate. Okay, Margo's gonna tell you what she's wearing. Hi everyone, I'm wearing a piece from Staud, S T A U D. And I thought it was a shirt, but Tashira says it's a dress. It's 100% a dress. So, but look at this. Yes, get into the back, it's a back though, it's a back though. And it has a built-in bra, which is lovely. I went in two sizes. It got the um, shoulders taken in because it was really tight and I wanted to be able to wear pants underneath. But I like this little peak, like, like a little, little bitty peak. And then these shoes, might seem familiar from the podcast. These are vintage Nye West, <laughs> TJ Maxx, circa 2010. But see, that's also why you have to have good pieces because they last, right? Right. Yeah. And um, 
I had matching ones with my friend Amelia. I bought them for her for her birthday. And when I asked her where hers were, she said she wore them out immediately. <laughs> so I selectively use mine, and they're perfect. So that's my outfit. The purple boots. O O T D for the first look. look and I actually didn't show this to y'all Margot has me on rent the runway I am obsessed not sponsored but it needs to be okay I'm trying <laughs> and I am wearing this dress by Derek Lamb hold up let me get this straight so you can see a completely different silhouette for me it has this tight bodice asymmetrical across the top also wearing these great socks <laughs> and uh, the shoot was amazing so make sure you're following us at justice underscore pod at justice j-u-s-t-u-s -U -U underscore pod we'll have it linked down below of course mm -hmm. also the website and also uh, our youtube page because the podcast is also a video cast and you can see our lovely faces the fashions all the things uh we are so grateful for the growing justice community so i don't think i told y'all but we're staying at west house oh i did because i think i showed you mm -hmm. A bit of the room the hotel has been so lovely they, they allowed for us to shoot um we had great breakfast this morning so definitely would highly recommend it and now we are headed back to soho y'all saw us there last night margo had the uh green jody i saw a pair of gucci loafers Let's see what we get into. And when we're in the car, we will chat with you all about Gabby Bernstein. See you in a second. Last night, we went to go see Gabby Bernstein at Music Hall or no, it was called Town Hall. Mm -hmm. In Midtown. In Midtown. Yep. Um, and uh, it was a sold out show. It was like 1,500 people there. Uh, she started off just kind of doing her personal help personal development, motivational speaking stuff. Uh, ended the first portion with meditation, intermission. And then when we came back, she did her Ask Gabby segment, which she actually did on IG for a year. And now she has a very, very popular podcast where people ask her questions and she, she uses- channels dead spirits. Okay, I don't think that really happened. Um, you know, she's intuitive, right? So sometimes people speak to her whether or not they're physically on this planet, it doesn't matter. My thing is this, there were several moments of aha that I had. I think Margo was a little bit more skeptical than I. I'm just generally more skeptical. This is true. But um, it was definitely very entertaining. <laughs> and I had some powerful takeaways. Did you? Yeah. Okay. You go, what's one takeaway you had uh, about yourself? The, the idea that when I was when I'm having negative feelings or saying something negative about myself or a situation, I try again. Okay, yeah, and so she has a whole methodology that uh -huh. she teaches. Try, it's called try again, right? Or I think it's called choose different. Choose different. It's called choose different. So like say, I feel like an imposter, but. I can't do this. I'm feeling like an imposter. Choose yeah. again. I'm not an imposter. I Choose got again. This. That's what it's called. Choose again. Choose again. Which choose I like. The next best thought. I like that idea of we can change our feeling in a moment by redirecting our thought process. I mean, it makes sense. It's just I liked, I liked how catchy it was. And she also said, so she's a student of Wayne Dyer, and she said that Wayne Dyer has something where he would say, um, a belief is nothing but the same thought over and over again and so i think that's why I choose again is so important right because it helps to disrupt those negative beliefs by choosing something different to to think about it changes your thought pattern what, what was one of your big takeaways mine was that i've been in a scarcity mindset mm -hmm. Specifically around believing that the abundant season that I'm in is going to end. And I don't think I realized walking into Gabby that that was my thought. I, I don't think, I didn't realize that I was struggling with that. Like I thought that I had fully accepted it. 
and just as like what was gonna be yeah I, I don't think that i realized that i was still holding on to like this fear or holding on to a fear i thought that i fought for this life i've gotten the life i'm doing the thing i'm so happy i'm joy filled and like that's just it but literally i i have moments where i feel like yeah. it won't last or well, that's not not and so i saw myself in a real way last night based upon some of the things that she was saying which i'm very grateful for um so yeah i will link some gabby bernstein resources Wait, let's keep talking. down below let's keep talking now she want to talk about a girl what did you not like about him i think so she's accessible she's totally to accessible some to some people but by accessible though i mean like she's not a um michael singer she's not like one of these kind of metaphysical gurus that it takes a phd to read them and right. to truly be able okay. to digest that, the resources right, right? reading is entertaining and simple and accessible and that's what i mean by accessible okay. right i mean her as a very thin blonde white woman may not be accessible well to everybody being. but the way that she teaches and she speaks is accessible anyone can understand it and i believe that that's intentional and likely a big part of her success right. i think though what also comes from that is a bit of a character so at times you know it might have been a little corny it might it, it, it might i'm not saying that it was I'm saying that I might have perceived it for like half a millisecond as a little corny, but then I chose again and I chose to see her okay. as my personal guru as she is. Can I tell you something that bothered me? Yes. I don't think she she's just vulnerable enough to her audience so that her audience is hungry, but I don't think she's actually transparent about her own feelings. Mm. Because I think she struggles a lot more than she lets on. But she kind of addressed that last night. She was like, your story isn't food for everyone. So I wonder if her work has been to figure out how much to give people and how much not to give people. But I hear you. I do. So she's been honest about um, childhood sex abuse. She's been transparent about being sober for 17 years from drug abuse. She's been honest about infertility. An eating disorder. An eating disorder. So what, what more do you want her to say? Well, but the, all of that has been in snippets. I don't feel like she really, like last night she was like, to the person who was describing childhood sexual trauma. Yeah. She was like, have you read Happy Days? Wink, wink. Oh, I completely missed that. And that's where she talks about it. Oh, I see. So you're saying like for a marketing ploy, she's like well, I don't know if it's a market. I, I, oh, I hadn't even thought of it as a marketing ploy. I just mm. thought of it as like, it's this stage where people want to be and are asked to be really vulnerable because they see her as something. Being vulnerable. No, but she's not. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that bothers me as much because I do think as a public figure, it's hard to figure out the line. Now doing the kind of work she does, we can definitely say that she should be called to a higher place. But I also feel like it's a lot of unwell people in the world, man, mm -hmm. you know, and there's parts of your story that don't need to be for everyone. And the way you talk about them, you gotta have some boundaries. Um, but I love the feeling of community that she's very deliberate and intentional about creating. She hugged everybody. She told them that she loved them. Which was so heartfelt and sincere. Um, I disagree with that. Oh, okay, girl. <laughs> I, I love you. I love you. She she's like got on her knees and she was like. That's just like cheapens the word it does not margo it felt like church i don't church. want someone who i don't know to tell me that they love me margo you need to choose again <laughs> that is a limiting belief you can like admire her i wonder if you feel like you're not worthy of love is that I mean, what it is i'm sure maybe it's your subconscious telling you because the only real emotion is love that's marianne williamson of return to love
<laughs> a former presidential. <laughs> all right. In all seriousness, it's been great to spend time with my homie, my day one, my dog, for real. So fun. So fun. Um, New York has been a lovely place, although it's been cold as hell, but today's a little bit warmer. Um, uh, we We're going to keep trying to do some creative. We're planning for next season. Lots in store, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, um, really exciting stuff. Really exciting stuff is coming. Uh, we did our shoot today. We saw Gabby last night. We shopped yesterday. We're gonna shop a little bit more today. But just in case I don't have time to say so long, farewell, I'll be this and good night. Maybe we should end this episode of Vlogmas here. Margo, happy Hanukkah. Thank you. Festival of Lights. Festival of Lights. And Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. I love Christmas. And Happy New Year. Happy what? New Year. Is Vlogmas just for Christmas? Vlogmas is going until, I don't know if it's going until the end of the month, y'all, or until the 25th. Let's see how I feel. You're supposed to vlog every day? I do. I vlog every day and I release at least two episodes a week. She clearly has not been watching my content. <laughs> I do, but it's not consistent. <laughs> it's a lot. How do people have time to watch all that? Imagine what it feels like producing it. I, that's what I don't understand. Yeah. But I love it. I love it. And I'm so grateful that you all are watching. Um, I'm so grateful you're watching her too. Yeah, and Can you follow us at Just Us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. She's like, now that you're here, by the way. <laughs> Just Us Podcast on YouTube. Yeah, follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe here. If you made it this far, I'm sure you probably are. And I will see you good people across the internet. Margot, throw the deuces up. Peace.